This is an advanced treehouse guide for Sons of the Forest. I'm going to show you how to make like all sorts of treehouses, how to connect them and make like a castle in the sky, basically, in order to keep yourself safe, keep yourself safe from all the cannibals and mutants down on the ground. For the most part, they can't figure out how to get up. Uh, so because of that, you'll be able to be safe in the trees with your crazy castles. I'll also be showing you rope bridges and zip lines and, you know, lots of theories about how to do everything and, like, other things you can do that I did not do and just how to do all of this in general. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So in order to do this, you're going to hit B or just go to the menu and click on your guidebook because the only way to actually build proper tree houses is to switch modes and go to tree shelter. And ideally, you're going to do at least tree platform 2 because tree platform 1 is, you can do it, but it's a really awful situation to deal with. Uh, so you make them as big as you want, but ideally, um, tree platform 2 is going to be the easiest one to work with. So what you're going to do is the first one, you're going to find two trees that are kind of close, but not too close because you want to be able to bridge the gap. So um, let's take a look at how about this one right here. And this one right over here. So that might be a good distance that we'll be able to do this, hopefully. So now what you want to do is you want to rotate the treehouse to try to get it lined up square with the other one. So we're going to take a look here. And uh, we we're going for that tree over there. So we want to line up perfectly square with that tree. All right. So once we get close as we possibly can here, it's very, you just eyeball it as best as you can, basically. All right. So... Let's say right here. Now, um, what we do is we open up the menu again. And we click on the same one, Tree Platform 2. And then we're going to, like, look at this tree. And we're going to try to line it up again with the one that's already there as best as we can. So the rope on the right is a good way to tell. And also just looking at the planks and stuff. Uh, this looks about lined up the same. Now with it lined up about the same on the axis, we're going to go over to this one. We're also going to place it before we do. We'll double check, though, to make sure this actually makes sense. And more or less, that looks like it's lined up. Okay. So, uh, we'll see if we can actually bridge this gap. I haven't tried one this big, but hopefully we can. So, now what we got to do is build a tree. Tree out. So, all you got to do is take logs, go over to it, press E, and it'll just throw them in. So uh, I probably shouldn't make you watch this. It's going to take a little while. But let me go ahead and build both these tree shelters. All right, so we got the first one done. And now we got to work on the second one. But just so if you've never seen one of these things before. Even the basic one's pretty cool. But this one's the most expandable in a way. I mean, the other one you can remove things from it. But this one's the quickest to build versus the most expandability here. Do stuff with. But uh, we're going to have to, you know, make that one in order to make this really crazy. And also, there's a use for the really small ones, which we'll talk about after we do this initial part. Okay, so it took a while, but I have both of these tree platforms complete. So now what we need is a way to bring logs up to them. So the only way to do that is to build a little stand. I'll show you what I mean. So I've gathered a ton of wood, so I can just do this fast. So what we're going to need is a way to access um, each of the tree platforms. So I'm going to get near this one, and I'm going to stick one down like this. And then I'm going to, in whatever reasonable direction, we're going to uh, make one of these. We're going to prop it up, and then we got to make it a little bit taller because we can't actually reach it just yet. So we're going to put one like that. We're going to put one like that. Oh, not like that. We're going to put one straight up right here. And then we're going to put an angled one right here. Hopefully my head doesn't catch. Okay, we're good. Barely. Barely. I almost I made it too close. Now we're going to need to make an access point for the other one where we can just walk up like that. So I'm going to same kind of thing, just somewhere near it. Get one of these down. Get down another one. Prop it up. Okay, well, we got a cut log there, so... That's fine, though. All right, so we're going to put one down like that. And then we're going to put this down. We don't need that. All right, so we're going to grab this. We're going to put this one on. Whoops, we're going to put this one. Um, There we go, like that. All right, now we can access both of these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make something really cool. We're going to grab a rope. All we need right now is a rope. 
So we're going to take a rope. We're going to go up here to get onto the treehouse. And when we get to the edge of this, uh, actually nothing will appear because what we need to do is we need to add something that's not on it by default. So we're going to take a log. We're going to head back up with a log. And we're going to put a log on the end of whatever direction it is that we want to go to since they don't have a log on the end. Now, actually before we do this, never mind, one more step. Take a log and do the same exact thing on the other side, which is easier said than done with this very poor placement I made. Okay. All right, so that's ready to go. Well, I actually could have stayed up there. Whoops. Oh, well. All right, so now we're going to head up to here. And we're going to grab a rope. And now for the really exciting part. So we're going to... Okay, I was going to put this on this, but apparently uh, it doesn't want to actually work like this. Uh, so a different way, actually. So I actually did that. I thought that would work, but for some reason it doesn't work anymore. So since it's inconsistent, I think I have a better idea. Now forget this one. Instead, just do it from the side of one of these facing the other. This will be, this will be way more convenient. So click like that. And then walk down. And then walk across. And then walk up to this and then place it like that. And then it'll give you an option for another one, and you click that, and now you've got them connected. Now what you need is to bring planks up and attach them. Although, I'm not sure we can actually do it from a side. We may have to make another platform. Um, no, it knows. Okay. So we can just do it from this side. We can do it from either side. So all my half planks are on this side, so I'm going to walk them over like this. Uh, I might be able to actually... You guys think I can just throw them up there? No, I cannot. All right, well, I have the bugs, so I only carry one at a time, but you're going to bring these up, and you're going to start placing them. Or if you have full-size logs, you bring them up, and your person will crack them in half on the spot, and that'll be fine. Like this one. Okay. So now what we need to do is finish off this rope bridge, and... Oh, this thing's going to look so nice, guys, but we're actually not done. I mean, it's not perfect... Uh, if you want to do it different, you could make a seven stack right here, but you make a seven stack there, and then it'd be more, you know, symmetrical looking. Uh, but then it's, but there's also a bug where you can't make a ramp on top of a treehouse, so there's pros and cons to each option. So, like, I tried before, just before this recording, making it with a seven stack, and that was when I found out that I couldn't, um, I could not make any kind of stairs or ramp on top of a treehouse, unfortunately. All right. So, let's finish off this one. I'm actually going... I don't know that it's going to let me do it, actually, because it's... I might have to cut a tree down, depending. Let's see what... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I might have to cut that tree down. We'll see. No, I can still put them on from over here. Okay. But there's still a way. Um, and also, I would recommend, if you haven't already, don't let Kelvin cut down trees anymore after doing this, because I don't know if he can cut down a treehouse tree... But I don't want to find out personally, so feel free to be the guinea pig. But I have tested if having a tree house, like so if you have a tree house in a tree and you cut the tree down, um, the tree house will fall apart into all its pieces. I was hoping it would just float in the air, but it, it does not. It just falls down. So definitely be careful about having um, someone cut the tree down. That uh, would be awful. All right, so this thing's almost done and after this we're going to be getting up the normal way which is to use the rope but if you want you can always make a ramp like what i'm making right here you can do a two one where it's too wide and then you'd be able to um i'm trying to see if there's one more flat piece but there's not okay uh, if you made it too wide then you would be able to uh make an actual ramp or staircase up to your treehouse but you're meant to use just use the rope so now at this point let's check this thing out and then I'm going to show you another alternate thing we can do that's also really cool for tree for a tree fortress. So we now have this connected. So that is how to connect these things. So I mean, if you make the super giant tree houses, you can also connect those like this. Uh, and then the little ones, I'm not sure exactly, but let's find out with a little one what we're going to do next. So we're going to do something really cool now. So let's put a little one, I guess, on the tree over there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to open up our book and we're going to put down a tree platform. And we're going to put it here. I'm going to rotate it as best as I can. Uh, I'm actually curious about something else. So I'm going to rotate it like towards this other tree. Let me square it up. 
But I am curious if I could make a rope platform at an angle. We'll find out here in a sec. All right, so now what we need to do is we got to put on this, this one. These ones are so fast to build. Like whenever you're doing something with a tree platform, it's life is just good. Life is a good time. All right, so put that one on. Put that one on, put the rope on. And then let me just throw some there. Someone's going to get hurt. There it is. All right. Crack that one on. And that one. And that one. Okay. So now you're going to go up to this. And I actually never realized at the beginning of the video, I said you have to have the bigger one. It looks like you might not. So let's test it out. So you can, in fact, make um, rope bridges from this one over to the other one, too. But I wanted to show you the alternate way, which is to use the rope gun. Now, if you don't have a rope gun or if you need grappling hooks or something, just check the description of this video for other vi links to other videos that I have. But right now we can see where I'm aiming and I want to aim somewhere on the far side of there. Um, ideally that log back there might work well. We'll see if my feet catch or not. So I can hit that and then I can try to put it somewhere back. But the problem is my feet are probably going to catch here. But if I do it back here, it's going to drop me off before I get to this sometimes. Uh, but generally this is going to be something like this. So we'll take the zip line. It'll take us back to here. That's a bad placement, unfortunately. But the zip line is actually a two way. So we only need one. It doesn't even matter if the height's wrong. We just need it to actually work so we can throw it we can discard it which will give it back to us and we can keep on trying things so the smart thing to do would be to bring up a bunch of logs and stack them up to give us something to grapple onto and i'll show you what i mean now okay so i added this wall to the side of the uh smaller platform and there's a reason i add it to the side we'll talk in a second and then i added one over there as well so we'll you know ideally aim for the left side of that one because it always drops us a little short of that and then we're going to attach it to the back corner of this one. Now, hopefully, this one will actually work. Okay, so that works that way. We go the other way. And it works the other way. So now we have a zip line that can go both ways. So this is another way. It's much faster and easier than making the bridge. But also, you can't transport logs and other things like that. Um, you Basically, logs. You can't transport logs while using a zip line. Whereas if you use one of these... It makes the expandability of your base much higher. Also, we'll talk about that bridge that appeared out of nowhere in a little bit. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about the zip lines real fast, and we're going to talk about that bridge that I built. We're going to show you that. So the zip line is something else you want to know about. In theory, um, you can shoot this thing really far away. I can shoot the trees way back there. So what you can do is you can use these little tree platforms as connectors for a, a tree base where I could have one little tree platform there that's very cheap to build, connect it with a zip line from one of these walls to another one of those walls, and just do that all throughout the forest, and then um, at different points have actual bases made that are big with rope bridges and stuff like that. That would be the way to make your ultimate tree fortress. Like, you can just connect them with you know zip lines from far distances, and honestly, in the long term, if you play this game long enough, Making the tree platforms with max distance zip lines like this would be the ultimate way to get around the map because zip lines are way faster than running. And so if you have long enough zip lines, then you'll actually be able to get around the map like two or three times faster than just running. So let me show you when I go this far away. Let me attach it. When you get up to speed in a zip line, you go extremely fast. So if you actually connect them uh, long distances, then you can have some crazy stuff for traversing the map, but also just making really cool tree bases. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about this bridge that I made. All right, so the last thing that I wanted to show you as a way to connect tree houses and stuff is to actually get on the tree house. Uh, instead of making those ramps and weird things, you actually can have a rope bridge for access to the tree house. So you can make one of these where it's stacked seven high. You can have it insanely far away, even like this. Get that one where you click it like that and it's sideways, and then come over to the tree house and then attach it to the side of one of these logs and then do oh no i lost the other one uh oh oh there it is okay and to do that and then just start filling it in with logs and uh you'll be able to do the exact same thing as before but as a way to get on instead of a way of uh instead of just away from one tree house to another it's actually a way to get onto the tree house now 
Uh, if you do this, you have to be careful because you are creating a vulnerability, but I don't know if the cannibal AI can even figure out how to walk up one of these things. Uh, but, in you know, in theory, you could just walk up. They could walk up. You also need a ramp at the end of one of those because a seven high you can't just jump on top of. But, uh, yeah, you could go ahead and just start working on this. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but uh, I'll actually skip ahead to me having it just so you can see how cool it looks. Okay, so I completed that bridge, and it looks super cool. So uh, if you want to connect to your treehouses like this, uh, it can be super cool. It is a security vulnerability, though, but uh, it's very fancy. So we got that. We got a walkway over here to another tree platform. We could connect zip lines between that tree platform and this one, um, but we got this thing over here. And, you know, one final thought here on connectivity is, uh, you know how the, the uh, rope gun... Which, again, if you want to do is get the rope gun, look at the description of this video. But what we could do, actually... What is that guy doing? What we could do, actually, is we could just use these little tree platforms as connectors between distant places. So, like, say that tree I'm looking at over there. I could have a small tree platform on that. And then way off in the distance, another one way back there. And just go, like, use those with zip lines in order to connect... Um, in order to connect like distant tree houses and then once you get to actual like um once you want to build like an actual cluster then i would just use rope bridges in order to actually build like a cluster of tree houses instead of zip lines uh and we could make a lot more connectivity i honestly could put a rope bridge uh from there to there that would block the rope over there but you know you could put multiple rope bridges in order to make it a little bit more accessible or whichever way you could also make the other log or other tree set like things the um Tree Shelter 1 and 2, if you want to take the time and fully commit. Uh, and make some really fancy stuff as well. So, uh, that's, yeah, it's it's cool stuff, guys. These tree houses are cool. I hope this advanced tree house guide helped you guys out. Also, check out the description of this video for other helpful videos, like the log dupe exploits, for example, which is how I was able to get this done so fast. I was duping logs. Um, and then, also, there's item duplication. There's guides for how to get the rope gun, all sorts of other things. And uh, also, if you like the video and want to support me, just check out Art Gallery Simulator on Steam. I have a link for that in the description of this video. Just go and wishlist it, and that would help me out a lot. Uh, but this has been my advanced treehouse guide. I hope this one helps you out, guys. Now you have a way better idea of how to make your tree fortresses in Sons of the Forest.